Hello and welcome back to another Tech Dev tutorial. My name is Nicholas and we are going to be working on a new MacBook A2340M4. Let's get started. And take off the four PL5 screws. Use your pry tool. Go on top of the upper right hinge. Pull it up a bit with your finger and slide it all the way down and get the four clips. So one here, two on the bottom, and then one more on the left side. Pull, disconnect the battery. The battery on these new ones is going to be right here on the motherboard. And with the pry tool, we'll go ahead and go right underneath the back of it and gently pull it off. We can start taking off speakers, the hinge set, and then we, we can move the display after that and take off the various covers. And then after that, we can take off the speakers. And with that being done, we can now move to the hinge covers and the other side. Take your pry tool, lift up in the middle. You have to take off this little protective case on top. Take off these two. With those being undone, disconnect the speaker on both sides from not only the antennas, but also the logic board. And pull out the right and left speaker. Take off leap sensor cable, both of the hinge screws, and then the display in the middle. Gently pry up the sleep sensor, take off the displays. Now here at techdep.com, we also do more than just repairs. We also do mail-in repairs as well and data recovery. Data recovery is something that you might not think you need until you need it on our website. The data recovery form is relatively simple to fill out and we take mail-ins from across the country. So go ahead down to techdep.com, fill out the mail-in repair request with your data recovery and we will take care of that grab our new display get it ready to be installed in the same order next step plug in display and our sleep sensor cable screw in the screws inputting the display cables the sleep sensor speakers install the cables and antenna next is to put back on the hinge covers and all of the covers that go onto here and now we can reconnect our battery cable, reinstall the protective cover, and last but not least, put back on back panel, reinstall your screws on the back, plug it in, start it up, and there you go.